Certain applications and games are specifically designed to utilize particular ports, yet the inherent firewall in most routers may hinder these ports. To ensure seamless functionality of the game or application, it becomes imperative to open these specific ports on your Wi-Fi router, a process commonly referred to as port forwarding. In this instructional video, I will guide you through the steps of setting up port forwarding on a TP-Link router. To commence, access the TP-Link router's web interface. Within this interface, it is necessary to allocate a static IP address to the computer for which the port is being opened. Navigate to the DHCP section on the left panel and select DHCP Client List. Make note of the MAC address and corresponding IP address of the intended computer. Following this, proceed to Address Reservation to bind the IP address with the MAC address, ensuring a consistent association. Now that a static IP has been reserved for the computer, the next step involves configuring the port forwarding settings. Locate the option on the left panel, either labeled Forwarding or a similar term, and select it. Click on Add New to initiate the configuration process. In the ensuing dialog box, input the port number or port range that needs to be opened. If uncertain about the specific port numbers, a comprehensive list of common ports for various games and applications can be found on portforward.com. For instance, if you intend to forward a Minecraft server, search for the relevant port numbers in the list. Once the appropriate port number is identified, enter it into the designated field for the server port. Additionally, specify the IP address of the computer. Usually, the service port and internet port are identical, so leaving them empty is permissible. Indicate the protocol used for the application, and ensure that the Enabled option is selected before clicking on Save. Upon creating the rule for the TCP protocol, replicate the process for UDP ports as well. This ensures comprehensive port forwarding configuration for your computer. Subsequently, a website can be utilized to scan the network for open ports, with the link provided in the video description. To confirm the effectiveness of the port forwarding setup, Use the provided website to scan your network for open ports. Enter the port and click Check. If the port remains blocked, additional steps may be necessary. Verify whether your WAN IP and public IP are the same. If your WAN IP is private and differs from your public IP, there might be other NAT devices between your router and the Internet. Use the Trace RT command in CMD to detect additional IP addresses, indicating the presence of other NAT devices.